Meint ihr nicht, wir könnten unterschreiben, auf das uns ein bis zwei Prozent gehören und Tausende uns hörig sind? Wir könnten, aber... Einstürzende Neubauten ist, on one hand, is the expression that you would use for buildings that collapse uh, by itself due to like bad concrete materials or anything like that, that were raised after the Second World War, in opposite to Altbauten, which are buildings raised before the Second World War. Also, and even more well known, is the fact that there is a band in Berlin that existed for more than 20 years that uh, goes by the name Einstürzende Neubauten. The most important thing about this group is that we maintain the state of being a group of uh, individuals. It's uh, Blixer Bargeld singing, it's Alex Hacke playing the bass, it's Rudy Moser playing drum kit, it's me doing percussion and it's Jochen Arbeit doing the guitars. Everyone in the group is working on their own career and doing a couple of things on the side and without doing that we wouldn't have been around that long um, because there's stuff that I can only do with Einstürz and Neubauten and there's certainly stuff that I cannot do with Einstürz and Neubauten. We have not done anything for uh, a good two years since the uh, The release of the last record, we uh, wrote another uh, another soundtrack, which was released as a record too, and did another compilation, another compilation, and we went on a on a on an extended European and American tour. That's the thing about this band; it's never uh, sure are we coming up again or not. We're not talking about that problem. What media are kind of doing? Are they still existing or not? We're not thinking this way. It was just a kind of what are you doing, Rudy? I said, mm, this and that and this, do you have time in meeting? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, okay, we work again, okay. Hmm. We were again about ready to break up in, in the year 2000, because even though it was our 20th anniversary, it turned out to be just a repetition of the, the same old game, you know, like you <coughs> spend a couple of years in putting together this format, which you all know, like a 70-minute CD, then you take a couple of years uh, promoting that product by touring and it all turned out to be um, rather unsatisfying and boring. So instead of splitting up and completely giving up the, uh, our, our task or our mission, we decided that we have to explore other ways. The idea started around the year 2000 when Neubauten was on tour in the US and they had record label problems with Silence is Sexy and at that time I was working with various internet projects and I basically started talking to them about the possibility of using the internet to distribute their music and for artists like them. And so we came together in the uh, autumn of 2002 and uh, outlined this particular project which is more or less based on, uh, on the idea of, of getting a record produced by ourselves with the help of supporting people. So we took like the, um, the infrastructure of certain sites um, Well, we took the infrastructure of like porn sites where basically what they sell you on a porn site is intimacy. That's what people pay for, to get close. And uh, well, we're providing the same service. You can get close to us by paying for it. So it's in a way very similar to a porn site. And we're using the same like uh, credit card mechanisms and stuff like that. We can give it to a record company and we can say, 
we want this and that much advance, or we, if we don't have, we, we get money back right away because there are no production costs to be paid, because the production costs are paid already. And what we do is we make it to two different editions. One edition will be a, a special edition just for the supporters, containing different materials, uh, having a different, um, a different cover and everything, and uh, never, never to come, never to get to the shops. So it will be an ultra rare record that will be handled very personally. Of course, there will be a, a, a normal, a, so to speak, a normal album too. To go with the politics of the whole scene, I, I would have much more preferred to say uh, we release it ourselves, or we. Uh, but we could not work out any kind of a, of a way to get distribution around the world safely done. Technically, so. it's about as small as you can imagine. I mean, webcams, there are three webcams total. Two of them are just tiny little simple USB webcams that you can buy for about 100 euros each. Uh, the USB cabling actually costs more than the webcams themselves. And um, one of them is a normal camcorder that has a USB connection and the whole thing is being run basically on my laptop. So it's a really extremely small, simple, cheap setup. This website gives a perfect platform to answer questions, to give uh, people an insight of what we're doing in studio, in a rehearsal room. You get more than a record in the end. You can watch us playing, you can participate in the sense of uh, that we are very actively communicating, answering uh, taking suggestions. I have taken many suggestions about what to do about particular songs, etc. We even put the rough mixes there. We give you a special concerts and uh, special downloads and uh, things like that. It's like getting an, an outside view of what we do immediately. You know, it's not like we uh, do things, record them, release them, and then get the review. You know, we get like the review before we even recorded something, and uh, of course, I mean it, it can be frustrating, <laughs> but uh, but mostly it's um, I mean if people like it, if people like the things we do for the the intended reasons, then we know that we are not doing wrong. That's a like we did, for example, with. Uh, Dead Friends, I think it was, and uh, we had eight takes, different takes, and we had to make up a mind which part to use of which take. We asked the supporters, and they were pretty much the same opinion as we. A couple times we are uh, sending out that we need uh, voices for different parts in the music, and they're sending us by email or CDs uh, their voices with the text line we gave them, for example. Usually we do about six webcasts a month, and those webcasts are usually grouped together within a single week or so. I did a concert on, on our website uh, in December, playing my kind of electronic beats and uh, guitar feedback and, you know, like wild kind of stuff that I do when I, when I play for myself. And, um, and I did it at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, Central European time. So I would get like a prime time uh, uh, show in the States. Our engineer Boris and the webmaster <laughs> certainly were rather tired. But uh, you know, you can you can look it up in the in the website, you know, like the actual archived stream is still on it. And also I mixed my favorite parts of it and put them out as a downloadable C D on that same side. You feel very removed, not only from the audience, but you feel very removed like from reality. The funniest thing what I think is that you don't know who's watching you. Who, uh, um, if someone is watching you who, who knows you or not. The fact that a lot of people are watching this and a lot of people are commenting in the same time of it because there's a live chat going on and they say, hey, yeah, 